and yeah proper i don't know how we want to maybe we introduce I'll, i'll introduce you you introduce me and then we can share a little bit with a poem as as that you worked. suggested so i will uh yeah, spotlight you and i hey here we are <laughs> um so, yeah all right well uh co-piloting this session with me is is a dear dear friend that i had the pleasure of meeting over in thailand as we both served in the united states peace corps dan dan rudolph dan the man swadika and um we uh you know there are just those moments and those times where we just connect and it was an immediate connect and it's a lifelong connect and whatever i'm trying to do if it if it coincides with him i'm going to drag him in and likewise was the love is that strong and just the vibe and the ability and the the need to want to uh have the pleasure of joining forces and see when you're on that same wavelength the the mountains that you can move a little faster than when you move them on your own much love so this is dan rudolph and, hello uh, <laughs> he's been around the world a couple of times and has done some incredibly exciting things and so the <clears throat> that he brings is not just from the american culture from the thai culture but he's been ingrained in many other different cultures such as the uh, indian culture mm. uh and uh speaks a couple of languages almost mm. fluent when he can remember them mm. and um uh, i'm going to pass it over to him now much love and blessings right on. Thank you for that beautiful introduction. I forgot all those things about myself, so nice to be reminded. Um and we had the idea of opening with a poem. So each of us will share one of our poems as a form of introduction. So I'll share a poem I wrote um from a collection called Forgetting to Remember. Mm. Um and uh here it goes. and i can post the text in the chat if anybody wants to read it long so i know i like to read poetry when it's being read um so here it goes and my stepdaughter is playing piano in the background so we have some music to accompany i don't know how clearly it comes through in the audio but i hear it pretty clearly here uh so here's the poem the next best will be what once was merged with what is yet to be seen always we are in the time between trying to decode the blueprint and create evolution trying is the problem which creates the problems that need solutions trying what we think we should do as opposed to doing what needs to be done even when nothing needs to be done trying to survive in prison requires cunning or violence or supreme grace oh. the last of the three is rare most have no choice but to resort to the first two to get to the third one we need to first realize we are in prison after that we can begin to return to how it once was and with our unique understanding resist into what has yet to be seen a critical critical mass is required now is the time between oh oh So that is my introductory poem. Thank you for the snaps. I see a few faces, and um, and now it's my pleasure to introduce Proper to the space. Uh, as Proper shared, we met well in Thailand, um, and every time I connect with Proper, it's like stepping into a deep philosophy class, and we end up going on journeys. Uh, yeah, just. with whatever is alive for us it, it becomes deep and transformative and i always have the sense after leaving a conversation or a time together like i've been transformed and and changed and uh also have the sense that whenever i'm with proper i'm in the presence of an elder mm-hmm. somebody who's also traveled many worlds uh both here in the US where both of us are from and in Thailand, right? And different parts, different cultures of the world. Um so she really is an elder with much wisdom and her poetry just leaves me shaking and sometimes sweating and sometimes a little bit shy and 
uh, it, it's just brilliant and and so beautiful. And I'm uh, so grateful to be able to share this space and to co-pilot these two sessions with her. So without further ado, I'll pass it over to Proper to share one of her poems. Well, I'm going to share this one because I, I want it to be the motivation that um, all of our participants as well as ourselves um, thrive and drive off of. And I wrote this initially when I was teaching adult education. It's called Dare I Say. One can oft get weary of watching what one says in fear of constant query, provoked not to speak for days. I pity those seeking their words to satisfy the eyes and ears of another when their words are set to justify their existence beyond father and mother. Silly and full of innocence, eyes wide and greedy for a bestow, shrinking back in reluctance from speaking of all they know. Wonder why you still feel cheated even when speaking and writing in a flow? You've only given sight and sound a piece and not all of your soul. Say what is on your mind, Write all that is in your heart, and one day you will find the sensation of being smart. Much love. Mm. And we want that as a pillar to move us forward into our, our session today. Thank you very much. Much love and blessings. And move it into a session today to let you know that wherever your mind is and whatever you're trying to express, let it flow, let it go, and let it show what you know. Much love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <That's the tip>. <laughs> <laughs> so beautiful, so beautiful. Uh, and I love seeing the snaps and claps and hearts, and I hope that we can uplift each other throughout this. We're going to be exploring spontaneity, expression, impact, exploring our emotional reaction, our emotional connection. Uh, so we hope in this daring, in this courageous act that we can uplift each other and encourage and support each other to deepen and, uh, yeah, beautify our expression. Um, so, oh, sorry. Yo, you're good. Um, so I'll just give you a brief overview of what today will look like. Um, we're gonna be exploring a few different practices. Um, one called speed writing, which we briefly dipped our toes into at the Reconnect Fiesta for those of you that were there. But we're gonna do a deeper dive into that. Um, and we'll have a chance to write and to share and to um, yeah, feel each other's poets, feel each other's wisdom. Uh, and then we'll do another activity exploring random association with the speed writing, uh, with the intention of, you know, again, sharing and exploring. Um, and then we'll leave with tools to help us uh, yeah, perhaps see the poetry in the sessions. Oh, now we have two proffers. Look at that. <laughs> By locating. <laughs> um, I two screens. Uh, I, 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 pardon my matters for interrupting you. It's just that uh, I have an older computer and so it likes to shut off in the middle of things. And so I'm also off of my phone, but on the computer, I can see all of you. On the phone, I just see me and Dan. It's quite nice, quite artful, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so before we dive in, I just want to invite people to get a notebook or sheets of paper and a pen. Um, just because we're going to encourage people to write with pen and paper um, for these specific exercises. Um, so if you don't have a pen or paper, please grab it. And if you're in a place where that's not possible, um, yeah, do whatever makes sense to you. Um, but if it is possible, uh, we encourage you to go that route. Um, and a little bit of rationale behind that is the fact that it's a, it's 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 a, a different level of connection. Uh, my opinion, as as somebody who writes, it just seems to be a different level of connection. Although you know, I'm I'm guessing the uh, 
newer breed of people, younger folks, uh, uh, I'm cracking 60, everybody. Uh, so I'm going to say that the younger generation uh, is more uh, touchy-feely with the keyboards, but uh, that pen and paper just has this guttural essence that we want to be able to share as well. Mm. Totally. It looks like everybody's back and settled. Um, so for a brief explanation into speed writing, um, speed writing is a practice that I was guided through by Arun Waklu, uh, a beautiful teacher from India. And I'm going to share a bit of how he describes the process. Um, but essentially, this is writing from source, you know, getting out of our minds and writing from a deeper place in our being without thinking or trying to figure it out or trying to make it perfect. Just writing from that still small place within, as is said in the Quaker tradition. Um, so we want to explore authentic spontaneity and just what comes out when we get out of the way, when we, you know, move ourselves out of the way and we just write and move our, uh, move our pen. Um, proper, is there anything you want to add around writing from source or writing from this, this deep um, space within? We'll give you a prompt. And the one thing that it's difficult, even for writers, is, is you have something on your mind and you want to begin it and you don't know where to begin or you don't know how to approach it or you're not exactly sure what's on your mind. But, you know, you have pen and paper in your hand and you're ready to articulate or demonstrate. But what we want you to know is that it, it's a little hard to get started. So as you put this pen to paper, if you don't necessarily have a topic or a subject matter in mind, you start out with, I'm not exactly sure what to write. Who is Dan and Lauren? <laughs> Who are these people? And then you will find that your mind settles in and you will eventually get to the words in which that your body is trying to share. And I'm saying the entire body is trying to share. So hmm. as you start, just put the pen on the paper and say, oh my gosh, I have 15 minutes. I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't know what to put in there. And then when we call time, you will be amazed at what you're able to arise at. Is there mm. a, a type of prompt that we would like to use for this first one, Dan, or we just want to let it fly? So first, before going into it, thank you for that. And totally like get the junk out of the way, get through the blockers and, mm. and the, the beauty will show. I just wanted to read a quote from Arun's article. Um, describing speed writing. He says, it is a process in which you write continuously without stopping. You mm. therefore do not assess, evaluate, or change what you are writing. You just put pen to paper and let go. You let go to flow. The words just pour out onto the page with a fluency, which sometimes amazes the writer. And in parentheses, he adds, I have put the word writer in inverted commas because deep down, when speed writing is happening, there is no writer. So we're hoping to get to that place beyond self. And uh, he references Natalie Goldberg, who gives eight steps for this, which I will paste in the chat. Um, keep your hand moving. Don't cross out. Don't worry about spelling, punctuate, punctuation, or grammar. Lose control. Don't think. Don't get logical. Go for the jugular. So really, let go, let go and see what happens. Um, How much yes, time? Yes, I can share the article. Are we doing seven so, minutes, five, seven minutes, 10? For this activity, we're going to do five. We'll start okay. with five. Okay. And no particular prompt. Okay. Just as the directions say, just write, just write, just write and see what okay. happens. Be open to being surprised. They win. Uh, so on the count, five, four, three, two, one, off you go. Begin your poem and I will give you a one minute warning and a 30 second warning. Finishing up your final sentences or words, bringing whatever you are at to a close. So we just explored a bit of spontaneity and now we're going to open the space for expression so we want to give space if anybody feels called they want to share what they wrote or a part of what they wrote or uh, anything is welcome we'll have some time for expression 
Does anybody feel called to share? You want me to start? It looks like Riti. Can I start? Please, please, please. please. Okay. Uh, We are here now and the way to go from here to there is right beneath your very feet. Right, 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 as much as you can, and you will find your right so right. Yes, baby, for what you're writing carries within it ancient wisdom, the likes of which has moved mountains and turned seas and created galaxies. The power of creating worlds is right in your very words, and as you let them out, as you do now, you will find the joy in the recognition of what you already know deep within and yet you can see it out in front of your very eyes and you will thank the words that moved the pen to paper and the ears that heard the signs and the light that shines above as you wrote and wrote and wrote with the many people in zoom and who you could see doing the same thing as you your eyes looked up one time two times three times in curiosity and went back to the words and there's a minute left to write this as a channel to your soul and allow it to stream through your consciousness. Let it go, let it all go, knowing what's yours will find you wherever you go, whoever you are with, doing whatever you do. Love is the essential ingredient. Remember to add it to all your actions, forms, words, and deeds. (laughs) Thank you. Wow. Let's show our love for Riti. Maybe hearts and claps or snaps, however you want to express your love. What beautiful words move through you. Thank you, Riti. Thank you. Is anybody it was else such a beautiful space. Beautiful. Yeah, it sounded like it. It sounded like it was a beautiful space. I can Thank go. Yes. All right, dear heart. Here you go. All right. Interconnected doesn't mean more than one. The tree of life has roots of mycelial living water in the depths of the earth, in the hearth. There is no separation of above and below. As below, so above. In interpenetrative waves up and down, water flows, water falls. At the heat of the sun, transforming into salt and sweetness, connection of all that is. I die, I live, Mm. I am born, and witness cycles and rhythm. This is the ecstatic experience. Mm. 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 Wow. Thank you, dear heart. Wow, wow, wow. Yes, let's show our love there. Wow. One more. One yeah, more. we have room for, yeah, at least one, one more, maybe one one or two. Devin, you feel, feel okay, the call I'll... here? Thank you. Okay. Orange slices of sun flew by and behind my eyes, I awoke to arise as the great bulbous gargantuan mother earth. There, here, Mm -hmm. everywhere, nowhere, you and I awoke together and looked at ourselves without fear. We saw all the flying sprites, joys, and delights paired together, trying to free themselves, trying release to release selves from demons, from hatred, bestial oblivion. You and I opened our eyes. The wars and within... The wars around and within all came to a resounding, shocking, earth-shattering, altering halt. We saw ourselves destroyed, reborn, undone, redone, Uh, a new new renewal where there was nothing to apologize for. Oh, no, oh, no, no one to name, no one to blame, nowhere to point or hide or ride the saddles and horses and trapdoors to escape this wild and beautiful here now. I bow to you and us, to this cosmos flying wildly without control, without anything predictable, with only deafening silence as joy. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, David. 
Wow. I see hearts and snaps and claps. So beautiful. And I think one more, one more now, if anybody. Or, yo, okay. Vanessa. Yeah. Yes, could I go? Sorry, I I know there's no more time. No, there oh, is time. Oh, oh, okay. oh, all right. Much love. Thank you. Um, this was um inspired by yesterday's writing session, um, mm -hmm. and also inspired by honestly a really intense experience with the breathwork workshop, and it was amazing. But a lot and I had this vision so I wanted to include it with this poem. Every seed is planted, which is to say, we do emerge into this world expecting love. Always the tender tug of the moon, always the radiant rays of the sun, which is to say it hurts when we don't feel love, because somewhere inside of you, you do know what it is. There is a small God inside of you who knows what love is and she shines the way a butterfly does, small but always changing, mesmerizing but taking no space. The story you are unfolding is every feeling and every feeling can flow the way a dandelion seed steps her first step, toes, toes pointed, chin up into the wind. Wow. Oh, thank you, Vanessa. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's so nice you integrated the learning oh. from a session into the poem. We're going to yeah, move more into that near the end of the session. Um, it's so nice. And we'll have another chance to share if there's folks that you know want to express that didn't get a chance in this round. Um, so that was speed writing. Uh, and now, from here, we're going to do another exploration. Um, let me just add Nadia. Um, exploring random association. And this practice, which is also in the article, I've posted it in the chat. Um, Olga said the link has not appeared yet. Um, but I'll, I'll check back in on that. But I, I'll share the article. Um, so in random association, we start to use our environment, use the space around us. Um, and the invitation is to just look out and see any two objects. Uh, so for me, I see a chair and a mirror. And then start to merge these two words. How can a chair and a mirror come together? I see myself sitting in the mirror, my reflection in the chair. I find rest in the mirror. I zoom in and find comfort in the mirror. I rest my back on the chair, seeing myself reflected. I see my reflections as I sit in the chair. So just starting to merge any two words. And you can take this in many directions. Proper, maybe you'd want to model one to, to show how you might randomly associate. I have a peppermint and a marker. Now, how am I going to do this? I should have been a little bit more thoughtful in my selections, but you might not have that opportunity. So I'm going to rough it. And I'm going to say that the pen and the peppermint begin with the P and the P is rather pleasing to me. <laughs> Beautiful. Would anybody else like to unmute and experiment with a <laughs> spontaneous random association? <laughs> Pretty soon we'll just be picking names and that will, you know, afford you the opportunity <laughs> to have to bother about raising your hand. You know, like Michael Powell, what you got? What, what you working with, Michael Powell? Let's unmute this gentleman and let allow him the pleasure of sharing with us, please. It's always when your mind wanders off to something else that you then get asked a question. <laughs> so I wasn't paying attention, teacher. That could be written. No, I have to admit, I, I recall this feeling from many occasions. Um, 
yeah that, but that's part of, uh, of of life you you concentrate to on a lot of things mm -hmm. like i i was listening to the pea and the pepper mm -hmm. but then the mind went off somewhere else and i didn't hear the next 15 20 seconds so i can't really respond to what you so uh, I you because behind you you have a picture who was that picture of on your wall behind you uh well this is amilcar cabral all right, and now you are looking at a screen of people, a picture of people. Make it work, Michael. Come on now, make it work. A picture and people. Well, if uh, if I would be very welcome to have any other comments about this great revolutionary leader behind me, whose fiftieth year anniversary of his anniversary anniversary of his assassination okay. takes place this year. Mm -hmm. Okay, associations. Yeah, and to answer Vanessa's question, um, it's not just randomly saying words, it's kind of picking two objects, two random objects, and then seeing how you can creatively merge them. And we're going to, to let you know where this is going, we're going to do this to find a title for our next writing exercise. So through this random association, we're going to come up with a title for our next poem. Um, so I might call my poem, uh, Sitting and Reflecting in the Mirror or uh, the pea and the peppermint could have been propers. Um, so it's it's just kind of creatively exploring and Arun explains it in a little bit of a different way. Um, this is just how we're gonna use it here. Are we going to provide two, two words for them to associate or do we want to allow them the freedom to select on their own? I think the freedom to select on their own and especially the freedom to tap into their environment and what's near them and to see what uh, what you can find. So for the next, we'll say 15 or 20 seconds, uh, perhaps pick two random objects in your space and play with them for about 10 or 15 seconds. Um, and at the end of the 15 seconds, We'll have a title for our poem. Yeah, we have a question from Vanessa. Go ahead, Vanessa. Oh, sorry, I was just wondering if I could try. Sure, yes, please. I'm a little nervous, though. This is kind of scary. <laughs> mm, thank you for trying. Nerves are warranted. <laughs> it's so okay. you should have nerves. Yeah. You're getting ready to scare your mind. I've got um, can I could I just pick from something back here? Two yes, things. Yes, definitely. All right. Okay, I have a lotus and Appa, who is the flying bison of Aang's in Avatar. Maybe that's too much. All right, all right. Let's go. What you got? Oh my goodness, I forgot the first thing already. What was it? Lotus. Opa. Okay. <laughs> okay. Opa? Was it Opa? Lotus and Alpha. Yes, Alpha. Okay. Lotus, a symbol of purity, and Alpha, part of the air tribe and air family, both out here for a greater mission of cleaning and serving the world. They serve a higher purpose of flowing, opening heart chakras, because that is the element of the heart. Breathe. Breathing is community, and breathing in and out is always communion. Okay, that's all I got. <laughs> Yo. Thank you, Vanessa, for stepping up. And yeah, what you did, you made a whole poem with those words, which is so beautiful. Um, you went above and beyond. <laughs> it was really nerve-wracking. <laughs> Thank you. So... So, so now we'll get into the exercise. Um, and again, find two objects in your space and just play with them. Start to combine them, see how they relate to each other. Uh, and we'll do that for about 15 seconds. And then from that, we'll generate a title for our poem. So you may begin now, just looking around and finding some objects. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, and now wherever you're at, I invite you just to pause and from whatever came up to come up with a title. It could be a one word title, it could be a few words, whatever uh, seems to make sense to you based on the association you made. So it when could you even have a title. Your two yeah. items, if you wish. It could even be named after your two items totally. because you will merge them in the end. So when you have a title, just show me your hands, just so we know where people are. Cool. Cool. Thank you, Kinjal. Okay. Good. Good. Good, good. Okay, great. So from here, we're going to explore speed writing again. But this time, we're going to build off that title and try to continuously weave that title into the speed writing. So we're adding another element um, into the speed writing. Um, and this time we'll do it for four minutes. So it'll be a little bit shorter. Um, does anybody have any questions before we begin? Yeah, Vanessa? Um, sorry, I just wanted to ask for clarity, like are we repeating that phrase over and over again as much as possible? Or are we just elaborating on it? Or just like that's the prompt? I think it might look different for people, um, but we're just going to work with it. Like that will be the kind of foundation that guides the speed writing. So it may be writing a phrase over and over again, repeating it. It might be figuratively referencing that title. It might be having the title guide you in a different direction. Um, so it could it could look many ways, but it's just using that title as opposed to just tapping into source it's kind of tapping into source with this title in our consciousness Thank you. Um, any other questions before we begin good luck okay yes good luck so on the count of five we'll begin a That's four it. minute a four minute exploration five four three two and let it flow And starting to wrap up your final thought, final words, final sentences. And again, we'll have a few minutes to share to see what came through. Uh, so if anybody feels called to share, and especially folks that haven't shared yet, uh, we'd love to hear your voice, love to hear what came through. Miss Campbell, welcome. mind blessing us and sharing, if you would be so kind, ma'am. I'd appreciate it. I appreciate the invitation. Thank you. All right. Uh, no intention of offending anyone with my profanity, but it's what came out. So hang on, darling. <laughs> uh, it's entitled Fuck Up. <clears throat> Seeds in the Crack. Hope. Flourishing, diminishing, plucked, fucked, sucked. Why? Is it me? Judgment, fear, expectations, regulations. Thirsty and quenched, what do I need? Dry and drenched, is it greed? Caring and sharing fill my soul. Is that the flow of my role? Reminded to trust will ignite a thrust. Vulnerability is a true north must. Shaking and faking imposter syndrome. Melting under the gaze of the garden gnome. Heart speaks, ears open. Tears slip away. Love will take me from Rome to home. Mm, yes. Thank you, Liz. Wow. I was inspired wow, wow. by a tissue and an external drive. <laughs> <laughs> so beautiful. Anybody else feel called to share? Shall I pick or will a hand go up? Let's give Judith. Can we have Judith in Carlotta? And oh, Judith, go let's hear. Okay. Yeah, thank you. So my two uh, items are uh, clear glue stick and a candle. Oh, okay. 
Okay. So my title is Connect to the Invisible. Connect to the invisible, to the unsayable, to the unseen, the untouchable, and untouched. Connect to the words that cannot be spoken, for to do so is to invoke the impossible. Connect to the hands that cannot need anything but worry and anxiety, and keep them close to your heart and connect them to the, to the invisible that truly give, gives peace to the tiresome body of yours. Connect to your feet and feel the invisible, the life that runs under your feet, in and out of your breath. Connect to the invisible energy that flows, whether you like it or not, whether you are present or not. Connect to the force that rises from within you, the light burning like a candle within. <clears throat> Connect to the glue that assembles the invisible power of you. Thank you. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you so much, Judith. Nice to see how you weaved all that together. Wow, and Carlotta, you still feel called to share. Yeah. Come on, Carlotta. Yes, I give it a try. It's hard if because it, English isn't my mother tongue, but I'll try. All right, it's called the simplicity of small things. Okay. Small things, simple things. This is what counts. Skipping over wet rocks, walking bare feet over fresh cut grass, holding hands, watching you, being conscious, breathe. And again, do you notice it? I sit down, crossed leg, the sun on my face. I smell the coffee coming into my nose. The cup feels warm. The circular ornaments on it leave a mark on my skin. The heat warms my fingers. The oat milk is slowly forming regular circles, leaving just waves behind. Back and forth. Back and forth. And there in the corner of my eyes, and there in the corner, my eyes shift. Wilted flowers. Tulips, they were her favorite. Simplicities of small magics. And my words were a coffee mug and the wilted flower in the back of my room. <laughs> see there. Oh, so beautiful. Wow. 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 I'm loving what's coming through. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing, everybody. And we have space for one or two next? more. Yes, please. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So my, what came out, I'm calling this a funny poem question mark. And uh, it goes like, <laughs> it's really funny. I think it's funny. Okay. Uh, yeah, golden I, and red. I can read. <laughs> <laughs> golden Boy. and red, latest favorite hues of my soul. Gleam and shine on pretty, pretty walls. Prettier still is a canvas in my room. Not for need of any silver and gold. Because my canvas is painted with dog hair embodying all the love and creativity in the universe. And my two items were uh, canvas and dog hair. <laughs> <laughs> so beautiful. Thank you, Kinjal. Thank you. Lots of snaps and claps and hearts coming up. And dear heart, I see your hand raised. My title was Lancelot the Coward. And my items were a cup of lemonade and a spider web. Merrily down the stream, the Lady of Shalott flows, drinking lemonade with her dear friend, Death. Oh, Lancelot. I am only but a memory you do not claim, but now I keep on weaving as Athena demanded, no longer golden threads, but spider webs and ebbs and flows. I weave new worlds and old, and though you claim me not, I am repeated thought, desire as I float, Remember now 
remember then, imagine what could be pretend the end. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, so many poets in this group. Oh, gosh, so beautiful to hear. And last but not least, Vanessa, would you like to, to share your poem? Thank you. Um, okay, this is inspired by, well, maybe I'll tell you in the end. It goes, sweep, sweep, beep, beep, songs of the day. And actually, Carlotta, this, I feel like this whole conference, this has been happening, like, your poem really spoke to me because I was also thinking about like simple things. So I felt like that was so crazy to hear yours. And I was like, wow, it was so good. Okay. Um, sweep, sweep, beep, beep, songs of the day. Starts with the birds, that morning corral. They speak of the real news, the important messages like when the rain will fall and where the seeds are planted and, and uh, something, sorry, something at the slow, oh, and they laugh at the slow moving animals below, those silly ground folk who roll and dig and eat in plastic. It then transitions to the laughter of children and the moans of mothers and the heavy sigh of the school bus and birds fly in to come watch. Good morning. Early peace, Zao An. It feels that maybe these are different. Early peace is a slow yawn, a full stomach, and a good stretch for your hips. And then I didn't finish yet. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Thank you. And nice to see the interconnection between mm. the different spaces, you know, even though we're working with random objects in our space, we're all tapping into similar wisdom. And I see one more hand up, um, Jill. Lele, I didn't, I forgot to say. Terrified to share, so. What was it? What were your items? I said, I'm terrified to share, so I'll do it. Um, <laughs> it was my, my title is my backpack and my hat. My hat? Okay. My backpack, okay. My hat and my backpack. My backpack and my hat. Together we travel, together we part. The wonders and joys of the offerings of life, the colors, my senses, the many unknown tongues, my hat and my backpack. Together we travel, making discoveries, people unknown soon known, laughter and connections without sharing a common tongue, connecting to the essence of life, which is love, connecting, the heart, same. The silent understanding of being human. So much to be learned in just this. A whole history without language. Yet here I put it down on the page. Thank you. Wow, 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 wow. It's so beautiful to feel terrified and then to just speak with such eloquence and beauty. Um, so, so nice to feel that feeling of terror and, and to push through it and, and share your beauty with the group. Um, to close out here, we only have a couple minutes and um, just want to share a, a wider vision and give an invitation to the group. Um, so some of you know, we have a creative harvest that's happening and um, I shared a doc here. So if anybody feels called to share poems in the creative harvest, you're more than welcome to. Um, and another invitation is to bring these tools into sessions that you attend. So maybe you, you sit through the breathwork session or you sit through another session or, you know, whatever happens, we invite you to do a, a four minute speed writing after a session with that session as your guide, uh, and see what comes out because one of the beauty of poetry, one of the beauties of poetry is that it hits deep. It hits a deeper place than just words, than just intellectual. Oh. It hits the emotional place. Yeah, would you like to speak to that a little bit, Frapper? We have about one or two minutes left. So as you take a look uh, and rejoin us tomorrow, and we certainly look forward to seeing all of you, uh, 
recognize uh, one of the reasons why you are in attendance today and that you follow this particular organization or maybe even engaged in the things that you are is based off an emotion. It's based off of something that's within you, something that drives you, something that lulls you, something that angers you, something that forces you to respond in one way or the other. I saw some smiles when people were reciting their poems. I saw some anguish as they were, you know, fuck, 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 fuck. It doesn't matter. It's the emotion. And that's what you bring to your words. And your emotion is what you share that elicits a response from another. And so one of the things that I do when I write, and one of the things that, and this is personal, so I encourage you, and this is offside of our curriculum, is regarding advocacy. Your emotions can bottle up into words that can be shared on a wider platform and, and a better presence. And so, you know, people are sometimes understanding, well, what is the problem with this? And your emotions and your ability to articulate is what drives and initiates understanding and information in another. And so one of the things that we talked about at length as we were planning this was assisting you all in finding the comfort for those who don't already have it. And for those who do, making you spread wider in regards to your, uh, your platform or your presence with written word is to engage, engage, feel it. And, and, and one of the most important things is in this world that's just, everything is just fleeting. It happens so fast. When you're pinning it or you're taking time to pin something, you're taking time with yourself and your thought. And it's not going to rush off and you're not going to forget so quick. When you take that time to pen and paper it or to keyboard and, and, and screen it. And then that allows you to process your thoughts, your understandings, and encourages you to move forward in that particular feeling and share it. And so we definitely look forward to seeing what you have on that particular footprint. And we have homework, don't we, Dan? Homework. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's a uh, homework, whatever you want to call it, uh, play or yes, you know, work. home exploration, yes, work. <laughs> self-directed learning. Um, and it's what I shared really is, you know, You're going through it. a session and having this speed writing or even using random association uh, with the session, maybe concepts or ideas that came up through a session that dictate the title and flow of your poem, uh, whatever it might be, we invite you to interpret these sessions through poetry, perhaps using the speed writing or random association tools. And we will incorporate these poems into the session tomorrow. Um, and yeah, we, we hope to see what comes out of this. We're excited to see what comes out of this. And um, perhaps, you know, we have a collection of poems that you know the poems of reimagining uh that yeah. was one of the the uh inspirations behind the title is you know perhaps together we create a collection of poems that could be shared in the ecoversities network um but let's see let's see what happens um we're yeah a, a couple minutes over time so we want to give you all time if you want to go to the afternoon check-in there's 12 minutes before that or take a rest and join the next parallel. There's 42 minutes before that. Uh, either way, we hope this was, yeah, a, a good journey for you and um, look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Any parting words proper? Um, your, your input and your, 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 your purview, your insight to the sessions that you participate in is, uh, it's, it's quite important. Um, because not everybody can cover everything. And then also the importance of this particular activity that I've asked Dan to really take a look at is that you are also leaving your footprint. Instead of a carbon print, we're leaving a pinprint in words. And we're going to share them. We're going to share them. And so I certainly look forward to your um, impressions on what emotions stirred you over the next uh uh, what is it, 12, 24 hours now? 23, 
quite frankly. 23, 23. 23. And uh, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow in all of your emotions. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, first of all, Proper. This was, I mean, and Dan, like, this is just so inspirational and I feel it in my heart. Mm. Um, I have a question about the form, the document, the Word doc, the Google document. Um, do you have to include your stuff starting from the bottom, because I, or, or is it just like a new page is okay? Just because I'm worried that if I start on a new page, I might like, I don't know, it might be hard for someone to add in. There's no order to the document. We'll we'll kind of go through and edit and order it after. Uh, so at this point, just dump it anywhere, anywhere that you find okay. space. And just dump right. it and we'll go through and do a whole editing process and okay. invite even in the weeks to follow we can invite further submissions um cool and one more thing oh. is i am a editor for a magazine that's okay. coming out soon and i was wondering if i could look at some of these poems and share because the theme is re-enchantment and i mm. feel like it'd be a cool way to keep sharing yeah i think we can explore that um after the conference, see if, you know, if there are particular poems that you feel called to share, we can check in with folks to see if they'd be open to that. But Ooh. inspiration, definitely. everyone. <laughs> hey. It's a peace conference, <laughs> the Peace and Justice Studies Association, if people are interested. It's kind of cool. And uh, I, I uh, just, uh, I'll allow Dan the last word, so I'll take the second to last word. Much love. <laughs> most appreciative for your attention, the attentiveness, the, the looks in your eyes and, and how quickly you moved pen to paper was quite commendable. And uh, I feel great about that. Dan. That's it, that's it, that's well well Pop. said. My words are your last words. So let's, let's part with those. Okay, thank you everyone and enjoy the rest of your day, night, afternoons, mornings, wherever you're at. Goodbye for now.